and welcome Welcome back. We are just up the road from Spyglass on Bay Meadows Road. I am here with Abe uh, Fort and Councilman Danny Becton. We are at the official Fort Family Regional Park, which is a new name for this beautiful park if you haven't been here because of a very unique partnership that you guys have made together. Tell me a little bit about how the partnership came about. Well, I, I'll tell you, we, uh, we were contacted by Councilman Becton. Uh, for, for a, like you said, a very unique opportunity to, uh, to, uh, to help out the park. And we've got, we've got some assets right around the corner, and our residents love it here. Um, we've got a lot of, lot of amenities at our sites, but, but we don't have the land uh, that, that the park has. So, so it gets a lot of use from not just our residents, but residents from all over the city. And uh, Councilman Becton, uh, he contacted us and said, asked us if we wanted to partner with him and, and uh, infuse some capital to, uh, to help the park out. And that's what we did. And when you're talking about land, Jared, show them like exactly where we are. I mean, we've just got so much around here. Kids, playground facility. You've got, you know, a nice little picnic bench area here, open fields. This is well-utilized money for the city. Absolutely. This is a great public-private partnership that we've been able to do with the Fort family. And, and this park is one of the high visibility areas within this area. And their footprint around here is just enormous with all the communities that they have. And the quality, you know, it's always about quality of life and, and trying to enhance things for residents and have places to go that, you know, this park has a huge uh, waterway. It has a, a flex fields where football, soccer, and those types of things go on. But we've also had one of the newest tennis facilities just recently open. And uh, it's a state-of-the-art facility. We've even brought in pickleball, which is one of the first pickleball uh, city facilities in the, uh, in the county. Uh, and on the horizon is a four and a half million dollar baseball quadruplex. But the relationship with Fort Family is really giving us some extra capital into this park. Uh, they've committed to $100,000 a year for the next 10 years, which is not insignificant. Uh, and this is going to be spent right here in this park for, for capital upgrades, not for replacing current maintenance. And what we're going to be able to do is do things that we're not on the drawing board with the city. And we're going to be able to partner with the community and say, how do we spend this money? What, you know, they want more walking paths. We want to open up the lake to possibly kayaking. But this will be a conversation that I have with the community as well as the forts in, in how we just enhance what we already have, which is a great asset to the community. Yeah, because I got to say, the Fort family is very generous because um, it's not just your residents who are along this area, but you got a lot of neighborhoods. And so those people are obviously able to be the beneficiaries of this as well. $100,000 for 10 years. And then you also could potentially go beyond that. You guys are visionaries. I mean, what, what do you see happening here? Uh, well, um you know, there's so much unused land here right now. And I mean, what, what's already been done by the city is, is awesome and it's great. And it does get, a, like you said, it does get a lot of use. It's open to anybody, anybody. It's a completely public park. Um, and, but there's a lot of unused opportunity here. And, and we, we can't wait to, to, uh, to explore those opportunities. And I can add, so the city and the country went through a recession in 2008, 2009, and 10, and so forth. And, and the first thing to get cut were park budgets. Mm -hmm. And certainly, so Jacksonville represents one of the largest park you know, communities in the nation. And, and, and certainly, to the regard of this park, it has been around since the early 2000s. And it didn't get its fair share of, of dollars necessarily like all like a lot of our parks in the city so there are you know rusty things there are things that need to be improved and and we had you know we've had a recent addition of the flex fields being resodded re-irrigation uh, which is really going to help but there's a multitude of capital improvements that can be done and and certainly uh, this public-private partnership we're doing with the forts is, is just 
you know, is second to none in terms of, of stepping up to the plate and help us make those things happen. Well, I love this because there is so much research right now showing that kids need to be outside and you really are creating a space where families in this area can come and, and really get enjoy this. Get them off their phones. Yes, yeah. get them off those yeah. tablets. I mean, this is what we need and we are blessed to live in Jacksonville where the weather allows us, you know, to really enjoy this. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes, so thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you, you for thank what you, you so and your much. family have done. And welcome to District 11. Yes, exactly. <laughs> As the councilman says, we have so much more coming up from Spyglass. Um, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll see you right on the other side.